All right, if you're gearing up for the AZ900 exam, you absolutely have to know this concept. We're talking about the shared responsibility model. Honestly, it's pretty much the foundation of all cloud security. So let's just jump right in and get this figured out. So think about it. When you move all your important stuff to the cloud, a huge question pops up, right? Who's in charge of keeping it safe? Is it the cloud provider like Microsoft Azure? Or is it on you, the person using the service? It's a super important question, and the answer isn't just one or the other. And that's because security in the cloud is a partnership. It's a deal, a handshake between you and your provider. But here's the thing you have to remember, especially for the exam. That line of who's responsible for what, it's not set in stone. It actually moves depending on what kind of cloud service you're using. Let's start with the cloud provider's part of the deal. No matter what, they are always responsible for the security of the cloud. This is the base layer, the foundation that everything else is built on top of. So what does that actually mean? Well, the provider handles the physical security of their data centers. We're talking fences, security guards, cameras, all that stuff. They also manage the core network and all the physical hardware, the servers, the storage racks. You never have to worry about a server overheating or someone trying to break into the building. That's on them. Okay, so if the provider has the cloud itself locked down, what's left for you to do? Well, that brings us to your side of the partnership. As the customer, you're always responsible for securing what you put in the cloud. This is your domain. This is where you have control. And this is where the different service models, you know, IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS, really come into play. Your data, it's always your responsibility. Managing who has access to it, also you. And of course, you've got to secure the devices people use to connect. Now, the amount of other stuff you manage changes. For example, in an IaaS model, you're also handling the operating system. But in a SaaS model, the provider manages almost everything for you. You're mainly just focused on your data and users. The provider gives you the security tools, but it's up to you to configure them correctly. So let's wrap our heads around this. On one side, you've got the provider securing the fundamental infrastructure, the actual physical cloud. On the other side, you're securing your data and controlling who gets in. But remember that shifting line I talked about? As you go from IaaS to PaaS and then to SaaS, the provider's responsibility list gets longer, which makes your security job a bit simpler. 